afternoon, YouTube. So I'm just hanging out here in the basement on the bench. Uh, it's 90 degrees here in Edmonton today, which is pretty flipping hot for here. Uh, so I'm in the basement where it's nice and cool. So this is just a little uh, info on one issue that these saws have. This saw right here is a Homelite Super XL 130. Now this problem applies to the regular XL 130, the XL 76, the XL 123, the XL 120 AM, the XL 101, 102, 104, 114, 113, anyways, a lot of any saw that looks like this. The issue is, so these things are old, I think the last ones, like the VI 130s, I think came out of the uh, Terry plant in 85, 86. And I think that's when the Terry plant shut down for home lights. Um, so this is just a part saw. Well, it's not a part saw. I'll get it running one day, but it's pulled off the shelf. Um, so the issue here is these filters are flipping old. These air filters. You cannot buy aftermarket brand new ones for these. Uh, so the ones you got, even if you get new old stock, the rubber along the outside, it's all cracked. Uh, dry and cracked and pretty brittle. You can I crack this if I want to. This ridge pushes around the filter, right? No problem. Well, the problem is when these get old, these dry out and they no longer are compressible. So even when you tighten this down, you still get gaps where uh, fines, uh, little fines will. Clutch cover's not on this one. We'll make past the clutch cover get sucked in, especially up to the top here and inside here. And that's no good because I mean, yeah, fines aren't gonna completely fuck a saw right away, but uh, over time, it's it's just not good. It's better not to have crack going to the engine. And so, uh, I think this XL76 I sent to Bodie. I did this mod too because I use that saw on whatever. Um, so if he's wondering why there's this mod done to it, you'll know why. If you watch this video, you might not. But anyways, what I do for this, um, I've seen people painstakingly cut out cork gaskets that follow this, and that'll work. That will work. You don't have to about it. The easiest thing I find is neoprene gasket. We use this stuff to work for when we build toolboxes and shit and uh, for sealing stuff up. And it's cheap. But I mean, and it's self-adhesive on one side so once you put it on it stays there but you can rip it off easily too if you want or want to redo it but yeah I just I mean I'd, if I was actually doing this to the saw today I'd actually cut it the right length but yeah just peel put it down there on that little ridge there you see that little line you just put it all along there and along the top and that's it and then you put the filter over top and you'll even be able to feel it, like the difference, because you can feel when the nut's going down, you can feel it tightening and compressing that neoprene gasket, and also your cover won't rattle or uh, right, bleh, uh, won't uh, rattle around. Because some of these saws too, they uh, we'll be using them, and because that gasket won't compress, it has no upward tension on here, so this will actually rattle loose, which makes things even worse. But yeah, so that's just a little. FYI to people that own these saws because as far as old home lights go, these ones are awesome. Awesome 58cc saw. I mean, modern 58cc saw will completely destroy one of these, like completely. Some people port these. Uh, I collect home lights, have for a long time, and I wouldn't. They're not making any more of these. Uh, parts are getting harder and harder to find. I actually personally wouldn't port one. Um, or doing a mod suit because it's an old ass saw. Stock, they run fine. I mean, and there's a lot of people porting these. I don't know why. It's because they want to. They're cheap. You can find them cheap. Uh, but you can buy those Chinese saws that I like so much for dirt cheap too. And you can buy extra cylinders for them for dirt cheap. So in my mind, it's better to port something like that so if you fuck up it's just okay I'll just go down express and get a new piston cylinder for like 12 bucks not uh you know oh well now I need to find a new old saw home light cylinder or someone that's not trash well that's pricey and can take time anyways YouTube hope everyone's having a great day 
stay cool. Uh, I wish I had a pool to jump into right now. That'd be fucking great. See, I can tolerate the heat when I'm in Mexico, no problem, because jump in the ocean. Jump in the pool. Drink yourself stupid. Whatever. Anyways, take it easy. Bye.